Hello from Fairshare IT Services. Uh, here is a problem. Uh, we already have a domain called as fairshare.tech. We have hosted it with proper SSL certificate. And also, you know, we have done the setup where if a user types in HTTP colon fairshare.tech, then it will automatically redirect it to HTTPS colon fairshare.tech. So fairshare.tech itself, the setup is correct. Now we also have another domain belonging to the same company called as iQuestionBanks.com. So I'm just going to call it as source. Now, if somebody types in iQuestionBanks.com, HTTP colon slash slash iQuestionBanks.com, then I want that it should automatically forward to HTTPS colon fairshare.tech. So please note that on this side, it is not SSL, but this side it is SSL. So this could be achieved by using something called as domain forwarding. So I'll show you to you here. So here you'll find that for I question banks, if I go to DNS, then there is something called as forwarding. So we can set up the forwarding so that HTTP for sure will automatically redirect to HTTPS fairshare.tech so that can be done but what happens is if a user types in https colon iQuestionBanks.com then in that case it doesn't automatically go to the destination because what happens is that the SSL mechanism it figures out that is that there is probably some fraudulent activity happening where you are trying to transfer one domain which is HTTP to you know https to another https using the domain forwarding right so that is where that is where it does not work then what do we do in such a way that we don't spend too much of time time and money on the proper hosting and we you know we can easily we should be able to redirect https colon i question banks.com to https colon slash slash fair so the source and the destination now, I question banks is a source, fairshare.tech is a, a destination, but you can, you know, you, if you can use any of your domains as source and any other domain as a, as a destination, as long as you have control over the source. So this is what I'm going to do actually. First of all, if you already have a hosting for any other domain, right? Any other domain, but try your best to find out the, the hosting for a client for which both these domains belong actually. So that is the easiest way, right? So for example, if the, if the destination is fairshare.tech and this one is fairshare.in, then if fairshare, wherever fairshare.tech is hosted, you use the same uh, hosting, right? If possible. If that's not possible, then use something which is related. So this is what I'm going to do. Like I already have a hosting uh, and then I already have control over the uh, the DNS of I question max. So what I'm going to do is first identify the hosting, right? So here I already have a control panel and under control panel, what I have done is that control panel is basically hosting, right? So what I have done is that under control panel, if I search for domain, then I find out, you know, there's a list of domains. So initially there was only fair share app. I added I question max on the top of it. So after adding I question banks under domain, it gives me like a proper uh, directory folder structure and everything. So you can find out the directory, directory structure from here. So I just went to file manager. Then under file manager, you can see that after I added this add on domain, that's what it is called. It has created like a folder for me. And this folder, the, the domain I question banks is pointing to this particular domain. So this could be done very easily, right? You know, just go to domains, add domain, and then point to a particular folder. Now go back to, okay. Again, one more thing is that like, if you go to control panel, then the control panel gives you the IP address for this machine, right? So you already know the IP address. So go to the hosting, uh, go to the DNS and in DNS, you can point this a record point this A record to the same 103.86.177.233, right? So same one. Okay. So you can point it to the 
same IP address. So you have pointed the A record to this IP address. Means the DNS mapping is done for iQuestionBanks.com. So if somebody types in iQuestionBanks.com, the you know the person will be taken here by the browser. Then another thing that you should do is again back to hosting now control panel. Go to SSL. Then this one was already there. What I did is that I added one more SSL for iQuestionBanks.com. So I already have now SSL for iQuestionBanks.com. After of course after adding this, so if somebody types in https colon slash slash iQuestionBanks.com, then the current corresponding index dot uh, index dot uh, html will open, right? So here if I go to iQuestionBanks.com, then this is the index dot html that will open without any issue. So up to this point, the setup is correct. But I don't want the index.html to open. Instead of that, what I want is that the whole thing should be redirected to https colon slash slash fetch.tech. So that is where this dot htaccess file comes to our help. So I'll open this now. Right click and then edit. So you'll find that this simple file what it does is any traffic that is coming to it, it will simply redirect it to, you know, redirect it to HTTPS colon fairshare.tech. So with these simple steps, with these simple steps, like as mentioned here, I'll also put these steps in the in the uh, videos, comment section, description section. So you can point, you know, you can look at this. And then if you follow these steps, right, right up to dot HTTP access, then you'll be very easily able to achieve uh, what I just mentioned in this document. Thank you very much.